Hey, it's Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to show you the actual cost for $25,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 77-year-old male. Now, first thing I recommend is going to our website. On just about every page, we have these free quarters. And you can select the state that you live in. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way. And you can select the coverage amount and then put your birthday, other relevant info in there, click get quotes. Now, it will take you to a page that's going to show you all the best insurance companies with all the lowest pricing. And what that will allow you to do is just kind of filter through all the garbage you see out there. You know, those, those plans you see on TV commercials or in magazines where they offer really low rates. And then uh, when you get them on the, the telephone, you're gonna find out it's for really insignificant amounts of coverage and then they're going to try to upsell you. It will help you avoid those plans that have those mandatory two-year waiting periods. They're often like 200% more expensive than first day coverage. So yeah, take advantage of that. You can also call us at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456. One of our agents can help you out with that. Now, first thing you need to kind of ask yourself as a 77-year-old male is, you know, is $25,000 going to take care of your final expense needs or you know, is it possibly even too much coverage? Well, let's chat about that. So it, when we're talking final expenses, we're typically talking cremation or burial. So if you're going to be cremated, the average cost of a cremation right now in the United States is between one to $2,000. So uh, we would probably recommend between five to $7,000 worth of coverage. And you might go, oh, why, why, why is that more? Well, you're age 77. You know, you probably want to live to 87. And we know things are going to be more expensive in 10 years. So we always like to build in just a little bit of extra coverage to inflation proof the plan. And then God forbid, if you do die sooner than you thought, there's a little bit extra money left over to maybe pay some extra bills or medical expenses or, you know, other final expenses. Now, if you're going to have that cremation and you're going to have a ceremony, that's probably going to cost, you know, between $3,500 to $4,500 and we would recommend probably 5000 or I'm sorry, probably 7000 to $10,000 worth of insurance for the same reasons. A little bit more coverage right off the bat. God forbid, did something happen sooner, pay off some extra bills, but your plan's really infl inflation-proof for many years to come. So we don't recommend going crazy with this insurance. Sometimes people are going to say, I want forty or $50,000 because I want to leave some money behind for my kids or family. At age 77, probably the wrong time to be shopping for that. You should have taken care of that earlier in life. And that's strictly because the insurance does get more expensive. And most of the people we help are on a fixed or limited income. So it just kind of prices them out of the coverage. And once in a while, somebody will say, well, if I can't do $50,000, I'm not going to do anything. And that just really puts your family at a disadvantage because now you're, you're forcing them to pay for something that you should have taken care of for. And chances are, uh, if you don't have the money, they don't have the money to pay for this either. So don't do not do that to your family. Uh, we really recommend you just, you know, getting what you need for your final expenses. And you can always add more coverage later if your needs increase. Now, for a burial, the average cost in the United States right now is right around $10,000. So if you walk into a funeral home pretty much anywhere in the United States with a $10,000 check, they will get things done. It won't be fancy, though. So just keep in mind that uh, it, it's hard to understand that a uh, funeral home would say no to $10,000 and just send you packing, walking out the door where you could just walk down the road to one of their competitors and, and they end up with the money. But again, just understand it's going to be really meager in, in some parts of the country where things are a little bit more expensive. But, you know, $25,000, would that cover it if that's the policy you had? Heck yeah. But if your money's tight, you know, maybe look at that 10000 to 15000 for right now because you can always add more coverage later instead of getting the 25000 Because we don't want to get you overinsured and then you can't afford the premium at some point in the future. And then you have to cancel the policy and then you lose all your money. That, that doesn't make any sense at all. So we, we can help you understand your options there. Now, one thing we always recommend is first day coverage or benefits. What that means is hypothetically, if your policy went in force today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would write a $25,000 check. That's exactly what you want. That's the best coverage. You do not want a plan with a two-year waiting period. And I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But a lot of people would say, hey, I like that first day coverage, but I hear it's got health questions and I'm not in the best of health. To which we say, 
hey, your health is our concern, not your concern, at least when it comes to this insurance. And the reason we say that is we work with a lot of different insurance companies and they all have different health questions and they all have different underwriting on things that where they will accept. And right now, we're right out about 90 or 95% of the time we're getting people first day coverage or benefits. Really, the only reason we wouldn't be able to get you first day coverage or benefits is if you had a really significant health issue, like maybe you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months, or you um, had dementia or you're on dialysis or you're in a hospital or in a nursing home. If that were the case, we'd probably refer you out to a different insurance company. And then it seems like every week we get a call from somebody that says, hey, we had a family member pass away this last week. They didn't have insurance. We don't have any money. We need to get this policy really quick because their body's down at the morgue or the funeral home and the funeral director is not going to do anything until he gets a check in his hand. So we need to get this policy right away, get a check in our hand so we can get some money to the funeral home director. We have to let them know there's no insurance company in the United States that's going to approve a policy on a dead person. So it's absolutely terrible that, you know, somebody died and they, they, they didn't have this insurance and they are effectively forcing their family or loved ones to pay for this. And what ends up so often is people have to throw it on a credit card and now they're paying 26% interest rate and it's taking them years to get this paid off. And what a, what a rotten legacy to leave behind when you should have taken care of this and you didn't. And now other people have to pay on this years and years and years. So don't, yeah, don't be that person. Uh, this, this insurance is affordable. Um, you can always start small and add more coverage later. So yeah, don't, don't be that person who does that. That's, that's not a great legacy to leave behind. Now, the one thing we don't recommend is those plans with two year waiting periods and Colonial Pen's one of those companies and their 995 plan is a two-year waiting period. You probably did not know that. But there's other companies out there, too, that are two-year waiting period only, like Mutual Omaha, their United Omaha line, AIG Gerber, and just a slew of other companies that the only thing they offer is two-year waiting periods. And you know, a lot of these companies have done uh, an amazing job of convincing the American public that if you're over age 50, the only thing you're going to qualify for is a two-year waiting period policy, to which we say, <laughs> <laughs> don't believe such nonsense because we help people with first day coverage all day long. Yeah. So don't fall for such nonsense. Now, our 77 year old male here, he is probably thinking he's pretty smart, probably thinking I waited till age 77 to buy this insurance. And I saw that 995 commercial and I'm going to get the best of them. I'm probably going to get 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. I might even get $50,000 for $9.95. He talks with a uh, Colonial Pen agent or looks them up online, like we're doing here for you on their website, and finds out that one unit of coverage, $9.95, is only going to get you $493 worth of insurance. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, what's $493 going to cover? That's not going to cover a cremation, and it doesn't really matter because it's not going to pay out for two years, you know, because the two-year waiting period for any death that's a result of any health or medical issue. But yeah, I mean, maybe that pays for flowers, but man, that's a little coverage. And a lot of people would say that there's companies that offer these low teaser rates. And, you know, all they want to do is to get you to call in and they know it's inadequate coverage. And then they're just going to try to upsell you and get more money out of you. And we're not saying that's the case with Colonial Pen. Um, you might want to formulate your own opinion about that. But as far as $25,000 worth of coverage, Colonial Pen Max is out at 15 units. So you can't even get $25,000. In fact, look at this. 15 units here is right around $7,395. That's right around $150. So yeah, if you want that, you, heck, I mean, it's not even enough to get a $10,000 policy for a burial. And, you know, it's going to have a two-year waiting period. Let's look at first day coverage here. So we've got $25,000, male, age 77. Click get quote. And here, here it pulls up. So, again, it does get expensive if for, for high amounts of coverage. And that's why we always say, Kind of just get what you need for your final expenses, but don't get crazy and 
get more coverage if you can't afford it. Now, if you've got the financial means and you want to provide that, that money, go for it. But most people are on a fixed or unlimited income. So this is kind of a hardship. So yeah, but, it, but at least with this plan, we can tone it down. And a lot of times Colonial Pen, uh, as a rule, they're going to be right around 200% more expensive, plus or minus, but right around 200% more expensive than first aid coverage. So we, we can help you out with that. But let's look at some other companies here. Oh, let's go down the line. So, oops, here we go. So yeah, here's one like Lincoln Heritage. I mean, look at this, $371. I mean, they're a fine company, I guess, but ooh, gee mama, they're, uh, they're, uh, <laughs> the rates are up there. It is first day coverage. But yeah, uh, Lincoln Heritage has got a deal where when you, when you pass away, supposedly they'll call two, three, different funeral homes, get you the lowest pricing, maybe do a couple other things, but it's not free. You pay for it in higher premiums. So that's 371 versus 275. So that is roughly $100 more a month. So after 12 months, that'd be an extra $1,200. After 10 years, you will have overpaid around $12,000 on a $25,000 policy. Yikeroos. A lot of people would say that's a pretty good payday for an insurance company to overpay them $12,000 for them to, people would say that's a pretty good payday to overpay $12,000 for a company to, you know, make two or three phone calls and do a couple of other things that might only take an hour or so. Yeah, that's a lot of money. We would rather see, see you keep that $12,000 in your own pocket versus give that to an insurance company. Holy cow, you could have create some memories for yourself and your family with that kind of money. So what we've done at Funeral Funds of America is we, uh, we provide free of charge a funeral and estate planning guide. You can download that off our website, print it out, and then just fill it out. Who gets what, what goes where, what you want done after you're gone. And then once that's completed, just keep it right with your policy. And that way, when you pass away, you've not only protected your family financially with the insurance policy, but emotionally with the funeral and estate planning guide because uh, they will not have to think about a thing. They will just go and execute your wishes. You will have provided the money and you will give them that peace of mind. And they will know that you are not only protecting them in life, but actually in death when they would actually need you the most when you're not here and they're suffering and mourning your loss. What a wonderful legacy to leave behind knowing that you loved and protected them all the way until the end. So go to our website, funeralfunds.com. We've got a special quarter for our YouTube viewers. That's going to be funeralfunds.com forward slash YouTube. And you'll get the lowest price and the most discounts right there. You can call us at 888-862-9456. And one of our agents can help you understand your options and answer any questions. But if you've got an existing policy and you just want to price shop it to see, make sure you got the best deal, we can help you out with that. If you want to add coverage to an existing policy, we can help you out with that. If you are looking for a brand new policy or just have some questions or want to find out what's most appropriate, we can help you out with that. We look forward to getting you the most amount of coverage for the least amount of money. And uh, it'll be nice to help you with this and talk with you at some point and help you strategize what's going to be your best options. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.